Today I'll be talking about our toilet selection for our van build. We have decided uh, after much deliberation to go with a dry flush type toilet system. Uh, the two most available dry flush toilets in the US North America market are the Rapon Trekker and the Laveo Dry Flush. In fact, the Laveo is kind of like the go-to dry flush toilet here in the United States based on how many I've seen on the road and how many reviews I've, I've seen. Uh, it seems like people really like these dry flush toilets in general. Um, they're specific, they're aimed at a specific user and that user being somebody who is taking shorter trips, two or th three, four nights, uh, and is going to use the toilets in a limited way. And that has to do with the relatively high uh, per flush cost. So per flush, it's about a buck seventy for either of these. And so this isn't something you're going to just be pushing the flush button willy nilly. You've got to really think of ways to, to limit the use of these, which sounds counterintuitive, but if you really stop and think about it, uh, you're going to have access to public restrooms at rest areas and truck stops. Uh, and so these being only used to say on a three day trip, I'm not going to actually use them that much. So the per flush cost doesn't matter to me very much. What really mattered to us is having a uh, flush and forget experience, uh, much like a home toilet. Um, I want to be able to just push a button and have it do its thing and get rid of the waste and give me a nice, fresh, clean, sanitary uh, lining every time, uh, you know, it's ready and set up for the next use. So that that was our, our main driver was the convenience and uh, also low maintenance. Uh, you don't have to really clean them. Uh, I have never cleaned this after six months and it's still just like the day I got it. As long as you don't make a mess, uh, you're not really gonna have to do any cleaning. So no spraying down of the bowl with vinegar or bathroom cleaning supplies. You just get a fresh liner every time. So that keeps the odor down and everything's sealed. Uh, this works kind of like a diaper genie. It twists the liner inside and seals off the waste and then it pulls down a new liner. So it's very, very good that way. Um, so the ease of disposal to uh, the byproducts of these is a heat sealed bag and a cassette that holds 15 to 20 uh, deposits. And both of those you can just throw right into the nearest dumpster. It's perfectly legal to do that. So getting rid of the byproduct waste out of these things is exceedingly simplified. So no more dumping, no more emptying of cassette or porta potties, no cleaning out of composting toilets. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, and so that, that makes it very convenient and easy to use these. And so that was high on our list right there. Uh, and they conserve water. Uh, so if you're dry camping or off grid, that's, that's a big plus. They're very popular with the overlanding people. Uh, they're uh, long-term storage too. When you get back from your trip, being that there's no cleaning or emptying or anything like that, uh, they're very convenient that way. You can leave a half-filled cartridge in here and come back after uh, two weeks of your van sitting in the hot sun and there, there's not going to be any odor. So very good that way. Um, next, I will be kind of comparing these two head-to-head, -head, so to speak, and uh, you can kind of get an idea of the price breakdown. And also, um, I will also be demoing both of them so you can actually see them in actual operation side by side. They both are pretty much the same as far as operation. So I will get into that part of the video next. Okay, this part of the video, I'm going to be kind of doing a direct comparison between the Laveo Dry Flush and the uh, Rapon Trekker. Uh, I have not actually used this. I, this is my disclaimer. I have tested it, played around with it. Uh, I've uh, called customer support on both of these companies just to see where I got with them. And both were 
responsive to me anyway via a phone call. Um, so the customer support seems good on these, and I believe uh, being these are so expensive, I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to buy parts and cassettes and whatever for the, in the future. I want to make sure that these companies are going to be around, and I believe both of them are. Uh, as far as cost, uh, your basic cost on the Laveo is $900 versus uh, $1595 for the Trekker. Uh, to get them up and running with uh, cassettes and powder and uh, power supply and all that, you're looking at about nine seventy five for the Laveo and sixteen seventy eight for the Trekker. So quite a large difference, and that's going to make up a lot of people's minds right now because they're very similar in operation and uses, ease of use, and all that. So if you're balking about, you know spending the money on one of these i think this is that's going to dissuade a lot of people from buying this and and going for the laveo um you can you get the battery with this by the way uh you don't with this and it's a 450 dollars option to get the battery for this it's outrageous um and that would boost it up to 21 23 uh it comes with an AC adapter, and if you want the AC adapter here, that boosts this one up to $1,030. So very big price delta between these two. So um, you really got to want this thing to, to buy it. Uh, this is actually the, the Lexus of these dry flush toilets. Now... Other things, ergonomics. I would give the edge to the Laveo. It's got a residential style toilet seat. It's very familiar. If you break it, you can buy another one at any hardware store or you can order them directly from the company. The Trekker has this plastic cover and it seems to be ergonomically designed with depressions and dips and, you know, to fit your ass. And, and uh, I don't anticipate there being any kind of real problem with this, although people have said that this is rather uncomfortable. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit on the toilet and read the newspaper. I get in, I do my thing, I get out, right? So that's not going to be so much an issue with me, but I'm just saying most people are familiar with this type of residential toilet seat and would prefer it. Uh, loading the cassettes, pretty much a wash. I would give the edge to the uh, Laveo simply because... The uh, Trekker needs a proprietary tool to load it. Uh, both of them are about an, a minute to load them and uh, no fiddling or anything like that. Uh, you can get around using this tool. Uh, you can definitely come up with something else if you lose this or break it. Um, accessories, I would give the edge to the uh, uh, Laveo simply because they have more accessories. If you go on their website, you can see uh, like this cover, for instance. This is a waterproof cover that fits over the toilet and covers it. So this is going to be in our wet bath. And so you can cover this up and not have to have a curtain or anything. That uh, is just going to put a garbage bag over the top of it when we take a shower. Um, but you know, the, the Trekker definitely has a few more accessories. So if, uh, that's, you see something on there that you, you like, uh, you know, there's just more options for you to kit this out. So I would give the edge to the, uh, Laveo on that. So that's kind of my quick and dirty, uh, comparison between the two. Now I will get onto the part of the video where I actually demo them both can see them in operation and kind of get a better idea what they're all about so okay so here's the Lavero. I'm gonna pour in a goodly amount of water here it's probably about 14 ounces and uh, <laughs> dogs uh, food goodly amount there uh, I will drop in some of the pea powder desiccant they said about I don't know teaspoon let the gel kind of do its thing as you can see it's gelling up pretty quick and so I will show you how this works you just push the button 
and it goes through a cycle. It's twisting it now, which causes the seal, and it sucks it down. And as you can see, perfectly dry in here, ready for the next use. Flush and forget. So now for the uh, wrap on trekker. Same deal, about 14 ounces of uh, water, cup of dog food. Uh, I didn't do it on the other Lavero, but trust me. There's the uh, toilet paper. And last but not least, the pea powder. I should have put that in first, huh? I guess it doesn't matter. It's just whatever goes in. You're not going to put them in an order when you're actually using this. And then you push the button. And it goes through its cycle. Draws it down in there. Now it's closing it up and sealing it. And while it's doing that, it's counting down 90 seconds so it takes 90 seconds for its fuse so this is definitely slower uh, than the Lavero. the Lavero is very quick through its cycle okay the deep three times and here you go so it's sealed here on the bottom and it's sealed here on the top and it's quite congealed in there. Uh, yeah, that's all gel from the liquid. So that's quite a volume in there. I mean, uh, I don't think unless you're a big boy and you're doing big number ones, you're going to overtax the capacity of this thing, either of them. These are quite deep. As it gets used, they fill up. And I'll show you real quick the how this diaper genie thing works here. Here's the cassette, and as you can see, it's twisted, and there's the load of stuff down there. So that's how that works, and like I say, uh, it's, I disturbed it now, but it vacuums. You saw it. It vacuum sucks the sides uh, so you have a nice clean bowl, and that's what I like about these is um, they are very sanitary, very clean, and no odor, and I think for some people, this is a very good option. Uh, not for everybody, but it just depends on your needs. Uh, you know, you've got a million toilet options out there. So, well, that about wraps up this video. I hope uh, people who are in the market for a dry flush toilet or who are doing research right now into what type of toilet they want to go with got a little insight from this, a little piece of the puzzle. Uh, at the end of this video, I have a short slideshow with some more dry flush toilet options that you can uh, uh, investigate. Uh, they're in my description. I have playlists for both of these toilets and also for the optional toilets that I'll be discussing. Uh, there's a Chinese knockoff, for instance, uh, $600 of this, of this Trekker. Uh, there's a, another wrap-on model called a PF1 that's a little more manual, but it it collapses down, and I think it's made for people who are limited on space uh, or who are backpacking even. It, it folds down quite small and uh, looks pretty interesting. And also a collaboration that uh, Rapon did with a company called Canyon Adventure Vans in California. They are marketing a toilet called the AMT, which is very much like the Trekker with some nice upgrades. Uh, also, there is a Swiss company called Klazana. They make a model called the Klazana, I believe. And it looks very interesting. If it was readily available in the U.S., I probably would have took a hard look at that one. And right now, I am working on my enclosure for my lavatory and uh, hope to have a video of that uploaded soon. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you again on the next one.